Guys, so yesterday I got on my iPad and I saw that Venturi Software iPad got an update. So I went in and then I was shocked. The home menu bar is here. Everything just looks like what you have on the desktop version. This is an iPad running the latest iPad OS 26. And in this version, Apple introduced the home menu bar to the iPad. I got my MacBook over here running the desktop version of the Resolve. As you can see, I have all the menu options over here. And on my iPad, I basically have everything. The only thing I missed are Fusion and Fairlight, as you can see. But all the other options, I have everything here. Why I think this is such a big deal? Because now you can basically do everything you do on your desktop on your iPad. In the past, when we didn't have the menu bar, there are a lot of functions that we don't have buttons for. Actually, there was a little hack that the iPad Resolve user always do. That's open the keyboard shortcut customization by pressing Command Option and K. And then you get all the functions over here so you can assign them to your favorite keyboard shortcut and trigger those functions by pressing the shortcuts. But now you don't need to do that anymore because you can do everything by finding what you need over the menu. For example, what I use the most is to switch in between my proxy handling settings, change my timeline playback resolutions, or deal with render cache. And now I can do it right here. Everything just feels super familiar now. For example, we have the full preferences dialog, and then you can do whatever you like over here, just like the desktop version. To show you how close the editing experience between those two devices, I copy the project I added on my Mac to my iPad just to show you how it looked like. I go to my project window and I import the DaVinci Resolve project file I exported from my desktop. Okay, here we are. At the beginning, we'll always see media offline because the file structure between the iPadOS and macOS are different. But we can just simply relink to your project folder. As you can see, in such short amount of time, I transferred my desktop project to my iPad without any issue. So right now, it looks like the only difference is that on my iPad, I don't have the Fusion page and the FireLight page. But actually, we can still rely on the keyboard customization. And then over here, I can search Show Page. And then I can assign those two pages to my favorite shortcuts. If I press them, OK, now they're here. The Fusion page and the FireLight page. For the Deliver page, we also have all the same presets and options, just like the desktop. Now, over the color page, the coloring experience is also pretty much the same with the desktop version. In previous iPad version, the thing that bothered me the most is that I could not put several clips into a group and color them together. And now I can finally do that just like what I do on my computer. I just right click, add them into group, and then do everything I need over here. Over the what's new for this version, now it supports for decoding Apple ProRes RAW clips. That's really fantastic. If you are getting the new iPhone 17 Pro or Pro Max, you'll be able to film Apple ProRes RAW on those two phones, and then you can directly edit them on your iPad. All right, that's it. Just want to share my happiness with you guys. Now I feel like I'm going to fall in love with my iPad more. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you want to see more video editing experience on iPad, be sure to subscribe. I will see you next time.